There are conflicting reports about the number of fatalities in this incident. We're working to verify exactly how many people were killed, how many were injured. It's not so unusual to have conflicting numbers so soon after an incident like this. There are also reports that some of these passengers, some of these tourists actually jumped out of the balloon while it was falling. So it is possible that it took rescue crews a while to locate some of the victims and determine their conditions. Let's briefly tell you what we have verified. This accident taking place near the city of Luxor in southern Egypt, the site of some of Egypt's most famous ancient ruins. According to officials, at least 22 people were on board. Nine Hong Kong nationals, four Japanese citizens, three British citizens, two French, one Hungarian, and two Egyptian citizens. One was the pilot, and according to officials, he survived with some injuries. According to State TV, the hot air balloon crashed when the flammable propane cylinder aboard the balloon exploded, the balloon plummeting 300 meters. That's about 1,000 feet. The company that owned this balloon, Sky Cruise. Obviously, this is going to be a company that's going to be under scrutiny, under pressure to come up with some answers. Depending on the condition of the pilot and some of the survivors, they probably have some important information they can provide to investigators. After an incident like this, there's going to be a lot of publicity, a lot of intense television coverage that could create the impression that hot air balloons are dangerous. The statistics, the numbers show otherwise. Based on our research, this is the first hot air balloon fatality ever in Egypt. And statistics around the world show that accidents happen very infrequently. It's going to be a challenge for the tourism industry here and already hurting tourism industry to reassure tourists that hot air balloons are safe. An investigation is underway. Officials have banned hot air balloon rides until further notice. Reza Sayas, CNN, Cairo.